hi friends welcome back so this is what you will get I mean we will get after you go through this tutorial so uh, it's a very important tutorial because it's the first step towards uh, I mean making the car and it's our first surface so I mean it's a foundation stone for our car so I mean pay more attention to this tutorial okay so let's start so by the end of the last tutorial we have this uh, I mean we have by this time you have probably be uh, aligned all the blueprints in the manner like uh, I told you so uh, we will begin by you know um, making 2d sketches and then uh, 2d sketches and then converting them to 3d one okay uh, directly creating a 3d sketch is uh, I mean a little tricky one and it's, it's a bit difficult to control because the edges are of the spline nature so it's a bit uh, difficult rather if you draw the 2d sketches it will be a lot uh, it will be very helpful for us okay so uh, select the right plane and click on sketch button and select the spline so I will start uh, by you know making this you know, top fender fender top uh, edge okay so make sure you grab the right point I mean this point and zoom out a little and click okay So now you have this spline so now we have to adjust it according to the profile I mean, make it align to the blueprint because I'm learning in um, me too in the learning phase so we will be tackling if we tackle some problems during the way then I mean we should solve it correctly and you can uh, give me your comments below if you think uh, there is some good method than the one I am adapting to make this particular trick together. So now I have this edge and make sure that uh, I mean uh, you have as little as uh, spline handles while you make a sketch because if you create more sketch more and more you know uh, spline handles and the nature of the surface which will be generated will be complex one and it will also not look good also so first of all I will add this to the new folder blueprint so now I have this sketch and now I will go to the top plane and make the exact sketch in the top plane so this is my sketch okay. one more thing before proceeding uh, you can on uh, you know you can convert the and you know you can convert the earlier sketch uh, the sketch which I just created in the you know right plane and mm -hmm. the reason to do that is because if you convert that sketch then it will be you know very very helpful for you because then you will be able to create a horizontal relation between this sketch and that sketch so you have the same starting point for both the sketches uh, and then I'll tell you here you select and so SOLIDWORKS is smart enough and oops so where did it go where did it go where did it go where are you oh my god So now I have this plane and I click this edge here and I take it all the way back to here.
align it at close as you can do the original sketch by using the minimum spline handles it's a little bit offset but yes so we have created our first two sk uh, 2d sketches and now let's you know project it onto a 3d curve and this tool this project curve tool will be handy in this type uh, so i'll click on the project curve and i'll select my two sketches so now there are two ways uh, to make a curve the and we will be selecting sketch on sketch because we are projecting the first sketch and the second sketch on each other the sketch on faces is used when we you know when we have a sketch and we uh, you know project it on certain face but we'll be using sketch on sketch and if we in future if we had to use it and we will use it but as of now we have no use of it so click here and so now you can see that you have your first sketch first 3d sketch here you may have to you know hide your blueprints to have a look at the sketch okay so and also the two sketches which you created are now uh, you know the child uh, of a type uh, have a relation of children to this curve so they are both absorbed in this one now you can rename it Top okay. okay, so <clears throat> now I will create I'll be creating this one. So again select the right plane, click sketch and it's so again uh, you can again you know take the example of 3D sketch which you have just created so that you can add relations with the 3D sketch and uh, so that your surface which you will create does not have any you know uh, what do you say open points so and it's personal advice to always you know convert the 3d sketch and uh, 3d or 2d sketch whatever and uh, use it as a reference for creating that one and always make it uh, a construction geometry because it, it's for reference purpose now nah? okay so now i have this one and now i'll go to the front plane and in the front plane you can see our edge here so in the front plane click sketch and again click here and click on convert entities for construction and click on ok now again go to spline and try to match the profile yes so now we have both the curves and now I will project it again so now I have my second curve let me adjust uh, yes so there is so now we have two sketches now I'll be going to the third one and the third one will be um, this one I will make this one so go to sketch display Again, convert entities. Again, click here, click here, click here, and so we have our first sketch, and now go to top plane. So this is a one. Now you need to create a sketch. Make it uh, a reference edge. 
upon construction geometry and make a spline click here and click here make it a little curvy because we don't want our edge to be a straight line and we want it to look I mean curvy exit the sketch now you have both the sketches projected and done so now we have our third sketch also but here if you look uh, if you will look at uh, the edge which you have just created then you will notice that uh, the 3d sketch which uh, this one last one let me highlight that for you so it's not perfectly matching the profile i mean it's ending here but it should end here uh, like, yes so take a look so it's short so i mean this uh, so that means we have to try something new something else to create this one so now for now i'll be you know blocking this curve and first of all let me front find uh, okay so having done that because uh, okay so having done that now i will be creating this one again it has a construction geometry to this line and I'm sorry that was my phone actually <laughs> yeah so not much curve needed here because it's uh, you know pretty much of a straight line so exit it and let us see if we will have a look at it in the front no the front will not work in the top maybe yes yes the top will work so select the top plane and project the edge here it as a construction geometry again and this one also make uh, it as a construction geometry was now I want my 3d edge to 3d uh, 2d edge in this plane to start from this edge so zoom out a little maybe and then start from here and and somewhat here so now adjust the handles spine handles and match the profile this you know this in the thing which you are seeing here is for the you know, wheel but you need not to worry about the area for the wheel because we will be trimming that out of our surface so you need not to worry about that third sketch here yeah beautiful now for the final one the one which we drew earlier but was not okay so for that one I will suggest you um, and soon we'll let take a look at the front view so these uh, are our 3d curves and these are the end point so So I will directly join these two points. Okay. So 
one you can convert entities this one and this one click ok and make them as a construction geometry either you can make them uh, project them as 2d curves or i mean these 3d curves as 2d curves uh, using construction uh, convert entities or you can you know directly assign relation with the 3d curve but i prefer the first one because i mean it gives a better picture it gives a better picture and also i mean it's in your plane so i mean it's give you more confidence while working on the plane. I mean, and uh, by the look at the uh, photos, actually, you will see that this uh, the back edge is also somewhat curvy like this, and this front edge also. Okay, so I'm drawing this now again. Go to the top plane. I don't know the top plane will work or not. So right plane. Let's project it. Oof. So now it's perfectly fine. It's perfect. And you can see. So now we have both, I mean, all the four edges. And now we are good to create the curve. Good to create the uh, surface, sorry. So there are many tools which you can use, but I prefer the boundary surface. It's a easy one no. and will give you and will give you better results actually. So here you need to select the two edges and here you can select guiding curves. This one and this one. you have your first curve first surface <laughs> it's looking pretty good yes. so now as we have created this one so we'll uh, proceed in the next video okay see ya